In Newtown, Connecticut today, church bells rang 26 times in memory of the 20 first graders and six adults shot to death at Sandy Hook Elementary School five years ago. The tragedy brought together two fathers who share the pain of losing a child, and it gave them a mission. Here's Jim Axelrod. So that's Galen Stone right there. Greg Gibson will never forget where he was five years ago. It's where he's been every December 14th for the last 25 years. We were in the graveyard uh, putting up a tree over our son's grave. Galen Gibson was a sweet, empathic 18-year-old killed in a school shooting at Simons Rock College in Massachusetts on December 14th, 1992. We're walking home from the graveyard and my daughter looks at her phone and she says, you won't believe what just happened. Sandy Hook School, I think there's somebody shooting in here. 200 miles away, the horror at Sandy Hook was becoming the deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. He was on his way to being a remarkable person. Mark Barden's son, Daniel, was murdered that day. It was a gregarious, affectionate, happy little soul. For 20 years, Gibson had lived the hell Barden was just entering. You know, outside of our tragedy here in Newtown, Greg was the first person that I had, I, that I had the opportunity to speak to who, who had suffered a similar tragedy. They soon realized another connection. Both sons shared a birthday as well, September 27th. What continues to anger me is people seem to be more interested in the coincidences, these awful coincidences, than in how did these things happen? How can we... Both men have channeled their grief and rage into preventing them from happening again. Gibson pressures lawmakers with the group Everytown for gun safety. I think we, as a people, have a right to reclaim that Second Amendment on our terms. And, and it's nothing to do with taking your guns away. What we can change is how we behave, how we think about this. Mark Barden gave up on Congress, focusing instead on Sandy Hook Promise, training two and a half million students in 4,000 schools to prevent other shootings. Before somebody does something like this, they give off signs, they give off warning signs. And if we can train people to recognize those signs and then take a, a next step, we can prevent this from happening. On this December 14th, these two fathers don't want tears, they want action. This was a kid that would pick the worms up off the sidewalk because <laughs> he wanted them to spare them from the sun. And so I've made a conscious effort to kind of try to carry that forward and, and to share that with the world. Works for me. That's amazing. Yeah. That, they say, is the best way to honor their sons and more than 300 others killed in school shootings since December 14th, 1992. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Newtown. We'll be right back.